A rare explosion as bright as the North Star will be seen in September 2024. A new star will be born. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to witness a massive explosion in the night sky? This year, you might get the chance. T. Coronae Borealis, a star system 3,000 light years away, will soon brighten dramatically, creating a spectacular explosion visible to the naked eye. Imagine looking up and seeing the night sky light up with a brilliant flash. So what exactly is going to happen and when? This summer, people all over the world, both professional and amateur astronomers, will focus on a small constellation in the night sky. The interest isn't in the seven stars of Corona Borealis, the northern crown, but in a dark spot among them where a bright nova event will soon be visible to the naked eye. It will give young people a chance to see a cosmic event for themselves, ask questions, and gather their own data. It will inspire the next generation of scientists. T. Coronae Borealis, often called the Blaze Star, or TCRB, is a binary system situated in the Northern Crown constellation. It's roughly 3,000 light years from Earth. It last experienced a significant brightening in 1946. Astronomers are expecting it to brighten again between now and September 2024. But why do we refer to this as a nova? The term nova means new star in Latin. It refers to how a previously faint star can suddenly become bright enough to be seen with the naked eye. A nova and a supernova are different events in astronomy. A supernova happens when a large star explodes at the end of its life, having used up all of its fuel. On the other hand, a nova is when a star temporarily becomes much brighter before returning to its normal brightness. T. Coronae Borealis is a recurring nova. This means it temporarily and periodically becomes thousands of times brighter. It's a fascinating binary system, meaning it consists of two stars orbiting around each other. And for T. Coronae Borealis, the binary system comprises a white dwarf and a red giant. A white dwarf is a dense remnant left behind when a star, like our sun, runs out of fuel and collapses. Meanwhile, the red giant in this system is an aging star. This means it's losing its outer layer to the gravitational pull of the white dwarf. Now here's how it works. Hydrogen from the red giant accumulates on the white dwarf's surface, building up pressure and heat. When too much material accumulates, it triggers a thermonuclear reaction. This is similar to a bomb detonation. Eventually, this triggers a powerful explosion, blasting away the accumulated material. This process causes T. Coronae Borealis to brighten visibly from Earth's perspective. This explosive event, known as a nova, occurs approximately every 80 years for TCRB. During a nova event, the dwarf star remains unchanged while expelling gathered material into space in a brilliant burst of light. This cycle typically recurs over tens or hundreds of thousands of years. There are some recurrent novae that erupt more frequently, but such events are rare in a single human lifespan, especially one happening relatively close to our own solar system. So what will the T. Coronae Borealis nova look like? This nova is anticipated to shine as brightly as the North Star Polaris. It may be visible to the naked eye for several days and could remain observable through binoculars for over a week. Later on, it will fade and might stay dim for another 80 years. This would mark it as a rare and possibly once-in-a-lifetime astronomical event. The first documented sighting of the TCRB Nova dates back over 800 years. In autumn 1217, Bouchard, the abbot of Erzberg, Germany, observed a faint star that suddenly shone brightly for a period. The last observed nova event of TCRB on Earth was in 1946. Recent observations suggest that its behavior in the past decade resembles the patterns observed before the 1946 eruption. Some researchers predict that the next nova event could occur by September 2024 if this trend continues. Wondering how to catch sight of the T. Coronae Borealis Nova? For stargazers, finding the Northern Crown is key. This horseshoe-shaped constellation lies west of the Hercules constellation and can be best seen on clear nights. Start by locating two of the brightest stars in the Northern Hemisphere, Arcturus and Vega. Draw an imaginary line between them, which will guide you toward Hercules and the Corona Borealis. The Nova's outburst will be brief, visible to the naked eye for just under a week. However, astronomers are optimistic it will be a celestial treat to witness. Stay updated on the brightening T. Corona Borealis Nova event by checking astronomy sources and following at NASA Universe on Twitter in the upcoming weeks and months. The Nova will appear in the Corona Borealis constellation, which can be a bit challenging to find. It forms a small semicircle near the Bootes and Hercules constellations. 
Boates can be identified by locating the plow star pattern in the sky and following its handle away from the asterism. Corona Borealis can then be found to the left of Boates. For assistance in locating the constellation, consider using an astronomy or stargazing app. Begin observing Corona Borealis now to acquaint yourself with its position in the sky. This way, when the nova emerges, you'll be prepared to locate it. Astrophotographers consider embarking on a project to regularly capture images of the Corona Borealis constellation in the upcoming months. This will allow you to document the nova's appearance and track its changing brightness over time. Dr. Elizabeth Hayes, head of NASA Goddard's Astroparticle Physics Laboratory, is excited about the upcoming event and the enthusiasm it's generating among amateur stargazers. These enthusiasts play a crucial role in alerting the global community to significant cosmic events like nova explosions. Quote, citizen scientists and space enthusiasts are always watching for bright signals that indicate nova events and other celestial phenomenon, unquote, Hayes noted. They use platforms like social media and email to share instant alerts, which help draw widespread attention to events like T. Corona Borealis. Hayes, who oversees NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope, highlighted its readiness to observe TCRB once the nova erupts. Alongside Fermi, other space missions such as NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, Neil Garrell's Swift Observatory, IXPE, New Star, NICER, and ESA's Integral will also be involved. Ground-based observatories like the National Radio Astronomy Observatory's Very Large Array in New Mexico will also contribute. These telescopes will collectively gather data across various wavelengths of light, enhancing our understanding of the NOVA event and its impact on the cosmos. Scientists are closely observing the NOVA event from its peak brightness to its gradual decline as the visible energy diminishes. However, gathering data during the initial stages leading up to the eruption is equally crucial. The information collected by enthusiastic citizen scientists who are currently monitoring the NOVA will significantly contribute to these scientific endeavors. For astrophysics researchers, this is a rare opportunity. It will give them new insights into the nature and mechanisms of recurring stellar explosions, like the one expected from T. Corona Borealis. Scientists explain that normally, nova events are faint and distant. Pinpointing where the erupting energy is concentrated becomes challenging. In this case, with its proximity and the extensive observation efforts across different wavelengths, they hope to gather data that will illuminate the underlying structure and specific processes at play. Researchers, astronomers, and scientists are eager to uncover the full story of what is actually happening. Some of those observing the upcoming NOVA event will be witnessing it with new technologies. Unlike in 1946, today's gamma ray imagers and IXP's polarization capabilities in X-ray astronomy provide brand new tools. These advancements allow scientists to study the structure and internal processes of high-energy phenomena like never before. By combining their data, researchers hope to gain unprecedented insights into the life cycles of binary star systems and the powerful stellar processes that drive them. As September approaches, there's speculation about whether T. Corona Borealis will indeed experience the anticipated nova eruption. While experts acknowledge the unpredictability of recurrent novae, they remain optimistic. According to scientists, recurrent novae are known for their unpredictability and occasionally deviating from expected patterns. They can surprise us by following unexpected cycles or abruptly changing their behavior. Scientists will have to observe and see how TCRB behaves in the coming months. As we await the potential nova eruption of T. Corona Borealis, there's a sense of excitement that goes beyond just witnessing a spectacular celestial event. It's a quest that spans generations, blending state-of-the-art technology with the passion of both seasoned scientists and amateur stargazers. This event isn't just about understanding stellar explosions. It's about asking new questions, coming closer to the unknown, and decoding the mysteries of our boundless universe. Whether TCRB erupts as predicted or not, the journey to uncover its secrets continues and will continue to inspire and fuel our curiosity about the wonders of the universe.